Of course, we are all still reeling after that tornado that touched down in Moss Point, causing so much damage, terrifying moments for residents. And now the cleanup begins. We're seeing so many scenes of damage this morning in Moss Point. That's where News 25's Lorraine Wisecuff joins us. She's live from the River City this morning with a closer look at what people are waking up to. Good morning. Well, Grant and Megan, I'm, I'm opening with you with the shot of First Baptist Missionary Church. Now, this is a well-known church on Main Street in Moss Point. And as you can see, the roof completely ripped off. Now, this is unfortunately the fate they're expecting for about 100 um, residences and businesses within the area. I spoke to Earl Etheridge earlier today, and that was a... Uh, the estimate he gave me, of course, they're still surveying damages. Uh, drones have been flying above us all morning, collecting information um, on the area. And getting in here, you can't go past high rise 613, uh, 613. They have that closed all the way. Law enforcement officials have that closed all the way to Martin Luther King Road because the damage is all around us. And here they shed a little bit more light on um, what the area is experiencing is Alderman for Ward 6, Wayne Lenup. Now, the tornado actually started off in his ward, which is just west of us. So. Wayne, I know you've been a Moss Point resident all your life. Um, kind of give our viewers a little bit of um, what you've seen this morning getting to where we are right now. Well, a lot of damage, a lot of damage, obviously, Lorraine. Thank you for coming over. Uh, started on, at the edge of my ward there on the, along the river, Ward 6, moved south, uh, southeast through Ward 5 into here where we are in Ward 4 and continued southeast. As you said, we've heard an estimate of around a, at least 100 homes and businesses. Uh, a lot of damage still out. We're asking people to please stay off the roads and, and stay safe. We, the, of course, the number one thing is to keep folks safe, but we, we appreciate all the work our, our first responders are doing out here to help us do that. Uh, the first responders are amazing. I know, I've talked to a few of them that have been out here, or they've been awake since 5.30 yesterday, and they're just getting off their shift. You know, they've been long days. Um, and I know looking out here, too, as you said, so much debris. Um, you know, keeping residents off the roads is really important. But y'all are having a very important meeting later on today. What's happening? Yes, the mayor's called a meeting at 8.30 at the fire station. So the board will all get together with the mayor, uh, assess the, the, the situation as it stands right now, and, and uh, forge a plan going forward. And we'll be getting that information out to the public. Is there anything else you want to get out to viewers or maybe residents within the area? Just once again, everybody stay safe and, and help each other. Now, that's one thing I'll say about the coast, resilient yeah. people. Well, thank you, Wayne, for joining us. I'll catch up with you in a bit. And um, as Wayne was saying, you know, stay, staying off the roads, very important. And take a look behind me. This is just a small portion of the damage that's out here. I will say, being here in person, it you really don't even know what to focus on. You see photos, but then to come here and see everything that has just been destroyed from yesterday's tornado, you know, the people on the coast are definitely resilient, so they have their um, work cut out for them as soon as they finish uh, surveying the damage, and that's when they'll begin cleanup efforts later on today. But reporting live in Moss Point, WXXV, the place for news. Thank you, Lorraine. Of course, uh, Grant, what's really, uh, I'm so thankful for it. So zero fatalities That's at this right. point. I mean, unfortunately, there were six people who were injured by the damage, um, but it's really just a miracle when you see the damage down Main Street in the middle of the afternoon right. that we didn't see more of those numbers. And that's the heart of Moss Point, too. Yeah. Main Street, downtown Moss Point, too. You saw the church in the background um, with Lorraine there, and, and so many homes that Lorraine has shown us this morning with roofs that are just completely gone. Some of those homes are going to be total losses, most likely, and um, like Alderman Linup said, you know, um, people are coming together already this morning, and I know we'll hear, hear an update from city leaders in about an hour and a half, and of course we will be there. And yeah, that meeting that we heard him mention that's happening at 8.30 this morning with the mayor. As a matter of fact, Moss Point City officials are going to be spending the day today continuing those damage assessments to determine what type of state assistance is needed. That's right. Now we're showing you some video from the hardest hit areas yesterday. Of course, like we just said, the downtown area. Many homes and businesses near that area received major damage. Of course, I'm going to reiterate, this is from Jackson County EMA Director Earl Etheridge. Of course, Lorraine just mentioned it too. Around 100 structures were damaged in the city. Those six people injured as a result of the tornado. Thankfully, no deaths. Mayor Billy Knight says city and county leaders are still taking a close look at all of the damage and will coordinate with state partners to see what type of relief can be done. We will start assessing the property damage and uh, so we'll know how we can you know, ask for support that we might need from the state and federal government uh, as we try to rebuild and uh, help people get back on their feet. We've got a lot of work to do, but uh, our people are strong and, you know, we're going to come back from this. It's going to take a little time. 
The Red Cross has opened a shelter at Pelican Landing Conference Center last night for those needing assistance following yesterday's storms. If you still need assistance or help with resources, you can call the number you see at the bottom of your screen right now. Take a look at this. Moss Point High School also sustained significant damage in yesterday's tornado. This picture is from Jessica Murray. You can see debris scattered on the gym floor and part of the gym's roof appears to have been torn off as well. Of course, students in the Moss Point School District are out on summer break, but all school district summer operations have been suspended today as damage assessments begin.